In the heart of Newcastle upon Tyne, there lies a green oasis where people are welcome to work and learn together in a safe environment. Oosburn Farm care for both people and animals and provide a place for them to work and learn together. They're more than a charity. The farm is a place to expand your mind and develop a deeper understanding of the circle of life. Today, the staff and volunteers of Oosburn Farm are going to give an insight into what helps make the farm so special. Andrea is the manager of Oosburn Farm. She used to work for a bathroom company. Now she works full time at the farm, taking charge of organising services and activities to help those in need. Oosburn Farm is a community farm. It's in an inner city area, we're in NA1, so we're theoretically right in the middle of the city. Um, it's a farm that opened in the 1970s for the objective of showing the community where the vegetables came from, how to grow vegetables. Um, the farm closed down um, because of lead on the land uh, in the 1970s because there was a, a pain factory that was sited here so they found lead in the land um, and then it reopened again in 2002 and animals were introduced and again the objective was to show children uh, and communities where their meat came from and where the vegetables came from. Quite a lot of the time we people will ring us to say we have animals that we don't want anymore so we'll take a lot of animals in so um, we have a lot of strays that come in so we provide shelter for those as well. While Andrea keeps the farm up and running, Rita contributes her time and energy to Oosburn Farm in a voluntary position. Well I do volunteer, I come down every day. Two friends have fruit shops and I get all the stuff they don't sell. Mm -hmm. Some of it's very good stuff and uh, cow cauliflower leaves, cow cabbages and are very popular with animals. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very well fed, there's no doubt about it, but we all like little treats, even the animals. And, and the two pigs, they'd eat, they'd eat me if I stood for still long enough. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm doing something useful. I mean, our animals need our help. You know, it's just not in this country, it's the endangered species and that, you know. So, if, if we can do something, no matter how small, it's always a help. I've taken a kitty wig last Wednesday, and I thought it didn't look very well, but I thought I'm going to give it a, a chance. So I, was, I took it home and I fed it day and night, every two hours. And then suddenly, this was Wednesday, suddenly on Friday, I, I took it to a local vet because they treat wildlife free. That's worth knowing if you ever find a fox, a hedgehog or a bird, they, they won't charge for the treatment. So I took it, well, well she says, there's nothing broken, but its tail feathers haven't been formed yet. But anyway, it was in the car park and um, I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. So it's come down all right. Without the help of committed workers and volunteers, the farm could not run effectively. Those who work on the farm bring skills that are useful to the operation of the charity. They share their knowledge and experience with children and adults, including those with special needs. Also, we provide a service to schools in the area as well, so we do workshops for young people on seed grown, um, sorry, seed plant and, and uh, vegetable grown. Uh, the health benefits to eating fresh vegetables as well. So we do lots of workshops throughout the year for school groups that come in as well. Bryony is a kind and patient teacher, passing on her knowledge of plants and animals to those willing to learn. There's lots of different people all the time doing different things and I get to work with um, everyone from adults with mental health issues to children and babies, old people, you name it. It's great, it's very varied. We do lots of different things. She works on Oosburn Farm to educate children through learning activities. Pond digging takes place every Tuesday and Thursday. Bryony runs the activity teaching children how to recognise animals that live in the pond. Well, 
we're here is a kind of an educational resource for families and schools and individuals to come and see how their food is grown and what is needed to grow food. So you don't go to Tesco and think tomatoes come from Tesco. Tomatoes grow on a bush and this is how they grow and this is how you look after them. So I think we give to the community a real um, education of where your food comes from. And not only with the garden and the vegetables, it's also with the, the animals and the meat and the eggs. And I think we're beginning to give back to the community what we always should have done as a, as a farm. Uh, so. Support to people. That teach people a lot of skills and a lot of uh, just learning a lot to teach the public quite a bit. Yeah, with school groups and families, they learn a lot. My name is Carl Henderson. I work with the farm animals. A lot I've learned how to communicate a lot with the public and help work with kids, school kids, and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm the gardener at the farm, so I'm taking care of all the plants and currently I'm in the polytunnel uh, pruning the tomatoes because they need a lot of care. They're high maintenance, yeah. I'm a I'm member of staff now, but I was a volunteer um, about two years ago and then a job came up in the horticulture section and I went for the interview and they, they gave me the job. So I've been doing, working here for two years now. Um, what motivates me? The people, um, being outside. Um, it's amazing to be in a city um, and still be in a, a place of like nature. Um, that's what that's what I like. This garden that didn't exist two years ago. Um, there was very very little here before. Um, so I think that's my biggest achievement and the orchard over there, it's 50 fruit tree orchard um, and that took a lot of stamina to kind of get that going so yeah that's quite a big achievement for me. It's a great charity and there should be more things like it and we need as many volunteers and support that we can get to keep going really. My role in is Ben Farm Charity as a business manager. Um, I started the post a year ago, a couple of days ago actually, I've been here one year. Um, my role was to develop the charity so that the, the charity started to develop an income um, so that we weren't totally reliant on funding all the time. It's always very difficult to, to find funding, especially these days funding exists in part but is, is reducing very rapidly. Um, so I was brought in to develop the farm as a business um, and to find, find avenues of, of income. Why do I want to work for Usburn Farm? It's a good question. It's very, very busy here and sometimes quite stressful, even though it's a nice place to work. But before this I worked as a director for a company um, which was all about money and I wanted to do something that was more about people. Um, it was more people centred and it helped people. So really by chance I saw this job advertised um, and it was because it was something that I'd wanted to do for a long time I decided to go for it and here I am. <laughs> favourite moments? Uh, I have a lot of favourite moments, yeah. I don't, I don't know, just one but they're all pretty good. 
the biggest achievement in work in Fewsburn Farm, I guess, is the development of our adults with learning disabilities, the training scheme for them. Um, when I first arrived, we had a few people taking part in the different training sessions. Over the last year, we've, we've uh, took that level up to this. We have 34 trainees that actually come in. It's enjoyable because we do so much for different people and different groups in the community. It's enjoyable because we engage with the community around us. I engage with people that don't necessarily see animals every day. You know, it's quite surprising that children actually don't know what a cow is or what a pig is sometimes. I know that sounds really strange, but they actually don't. So that's the enjoyable part, I guess. It's working with people and seeing people feeling a sense of peacefulness when they come to Usben Farm. Um, and I think overcoming the stresses, they're overcome by the fact that you see people's enjoyment when they come down here. So. Biggest achievement, uh, learning to share some sheep, that was pretty good, yeah. Um, favourite moment? That's tricky. When I first started, I had to um, do a lot more with the animals um, and the running the sheep out to the fields in the morning and the goats and stuff was quite scary. Um, and one time they ran all the way to bike a wall, and that was a little bit uh, intense. <laughs> so uh, that was quite fun and a good learning curve. But, but I just generally enjoy the harvest time, which is about now, because um, you get lots of produce and lots of things to sell and eat. You can walk around the garden and just pick stuff and eat it. And I guess it's the smaller things for me that um, are more important and I would class as achievements. For example, in a music class, to have someone that doesn't necessarily speak very often, to actually stand up and sing something, that for me is a big, a big achievement um, and something I like to say, it's the simple things that really help people. Usburn Farm Charity, I think I really feel passionate about it, just in the year I've been here, so I'm quite passionate about what we do and, and, and how we do things here. Um, you know, it started its roots from very lowly means. It was a caravan uh, on a site with a few vegetables in it, um, and it's developed so much over the years, and it's still developing now, and I do think that we benefit people in so many different ways. Um, and I think that's the great thing about the farm it is a community farm. It is open for everybody to come to um, and it's there for people to enjoy and we hope that it continues um, to <laughs> help people grow. <laughs>